in problem number 39 of section 3.3, we're uh, given a formula that determines the, uh, the cost that it takes a company to make and sunglasses. And that formula is given by f of n equals n cubed plus 2n plus 2,000. Now, the first part of the problem asks us to find out what the, fun what the company's fixed costs are. So assuming that they don't produce any sunglasses, um, how much does it cost? Well, we can just uh, substitute in 0 for n in our formula, and that gives um, 0 plus 0 equals or plus 2,000. So the fixed cost are, is $2,000. Now, the second part asks us to find a formula for the average cost of the sunglasses. Now, uh, given, supposing that n of them are produced. Now, the average is just the cost divided by the number, um, number of the sunglasses. So, a n we can just define to be f of n over n, which is equal to n cubed plus 2n plus 2,000 over n, which is equal to n squared plus 2 plus 2,000 over n. Now, we want to find uh, an, an interval on which this is defined. And if we let, and clearly, n uh, can't equal zero um, in order you can only produce an integer amount of sunglasses so n can't equal zero the smallest value we have or we could start with is one and of course we could go on and make as many sunglasses we wanted to so I'm going to make our interval uh, one to infinity now in order to optimize this this will only work under one condition and that's if the um, second derivative test applies, meaning that uh, the derivative uh, is equal to zero at one point, and the sign of the second derivative is constant. So it's either constantly concave down or constantly, or always concave down or always concave up. So we can just check that really quick before proceeding. See that a prime of n is going to equal well, 2n. Uh, minus 2,000 over n squared. And the second derivative is going to be equal to 2. Uh, now we're going to add 2 times 2,000 over n cubed. So we can see that for any positive value of n, uh, the second derivative is going to be positive. So we say that there can only be one possible minimum value. The second derivative test does apply on this interval, meaning that uh, the, the graph of the function is concave up everywhere. So now part C asks us um, how many sunglasses should be made in order to minimize the average cost. So we already found the derivative for the average cost. And that was 2n minus 2,000 over n squared. Now we'll set this equal to 0 and solve for n. So this means that um, have multiplied both sides by n squared, give us 2n cubed. Uh, minus 2,000, if we move it to the other side, is equal to 2,000. Now we'll have n cubed is equal to 1,000, or n is equal to 10. So the number of sunglasses that should be made to minimize the average cost is 10. Now, in order to find out what the average cost actually is, we'll plug in 10 to our formula for the average cost. And we'll see that uh, a of 10 is equal to well, 10 cubed, which is 1,000, plus 2 times 10, or 20, 
plus 2,000 all over 10, which this now simplifies to 3,020 over 10 is equal to $302.